Okay, let's do an example where we have to figure out a uh, daily balance on a credit card and then thus the you know end of your cycle finance charge. So here's a typical example where they're asking you to find the average daily balance and the finance charge and they give you a scenario of you know charges and things like that. The first thing to pay attention to is what is your billing period? All right, June 9th, July 8th. The easiest way to do this is in Excel. So you start with June 9th, 6 9. And then if you grab June 9th and just drag, you can see that it's it's it knows to count up days, right? So now I'm at July 3rd, right? Da, 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 da. And finally July 8th. You'll notice that that's 80 rows, right? It goes down to eight, or sorry, 30 rows. <clears throat> so we have 30 days in our billing cycle. Okay. Previous balance was 478.95. So that means starting on June 9th, we have a balance of 478.95. And I'm gonna go ahead and make these all money. All right, then I'm just gonna say equals the one above it. And then now if I drag this, every cell is defined as the one above it. And that's gonna make our lives easier here in a second. Because now on June 14th, they make a payment of 40 bucks. So you come down here to June 14th and this, this balance is gonna change. It's now going to equal the one above it minus $40. And then you see how the rest all change because they're all defined as equal to the thing above them. Then I come down to June 18th and they bought some groceries. So now their new balance is going to equal the previous day plus the 248.14. And now again, everything has changed. But then I come down to July 4th, where they make another charge. So it's going to equal the previous balance plus 59.39. And now we have a list of all of our daily balances, which to find the average daily balance is simple. We just do equals average, right? of all of these, 629.21, and you can see that's the correct answer. So let's go ahead and label these so we can know what we're doing. That's our average daily. Then we gotta put in the annual um, rate, right? The annual rate was 14%, and I want this as a percentage. So I gotta change that now, so that's 14%. And I need this to be a percentage as well. So I'm going to change that to percentage. And this is just going to be a number. And then my finance charge is going to be money. All right, so I had to change those. Okay, the daily rate, right, if, if, we're, if we're charged 14 annually, then the daily rate is just going to equal the annual rate divided by 365. You go, what? Nothing. Well, that's because we need some more decimals. All right, so you can see about... 0.04%, right? Really, really small amount. And that makes sense, right? Because that's the daily amount. Then we got to do, okay, number of days in our cycle. You could just type in 30, or you could be clever and do a count equals count, where it counts up the number of cells with a number in them. So you can do equals count, and then you can count up your range of dates, and you can see there's my 30. So now my finance charge is simply going to equal our daily balance times our daily interest rate times the number of days in our cycle, and there's our 724. Okay, so that's the easiest way to tackle these is to create a, a simple little spreadsheet. And if you don't want to, you know, do the little tricks of equals this and equals that, if that was a little bit too much for you, then just manually type these in, right? And just make sure that if the charge occurs on June 14th, that's the day that changes, right? That balance changes on that day. You know, and you can see on June 18th, that's when that balance changed. Same thing with July 4th, that's when the balance changed. And then the rest should be pretty simple, right? You just take the average of all those balances, that gives you your average daily balance. And then basically what you're doing is you're multiplying it by your annual percentage rate, but then you're dividing it by 365. So you're really just uh, multiplying it by its daily rate. And then you're taking, that's basically how much the finance charge was per day and then you're multiplying that by all 30 days to get the total finance charge for the entire 30-day period. 
Okay, hope that helps.